Cheese with hot topping, hot sweets, the spiciest memes. I'm Marissa Roberta. And I'm Brody. I like science more. What does that even mean? And we're going to present all the goodies we've gathered, which we will discuss and probably argue. But luckily for us, we got a mute button. I want to use it on these names you're giving me. I'm sorry, do you not like science? I do, but I, what, what is it in reference that's, to? That's a perfect gamer take for you. I'm Brody. I like I science. I do like science. More. Okay, thank you for accepting it. Remember, we like when you call us out when wrong and praise us when we're spitting truth. So let's get to it, shall we? For our first story, Ubisoft surprised Rainbow Six Siege fans everywhere with a great gift. Thousands of bans for toxic behavior. The latest ban wave is aimed at players who use exploits and glitches in game. Not to worry, Siege players, bans only trigger if you've abused or exploited more than 10 times. So, while that made most people happy, others are unhappy because they've been using glitches to fight back against people who use glitches. They say that since the bans target accounts, Ubisoft isn't addressing the root cause, namely the people behind these accounts. Brody, holy smokes! They really like circled back on itself a few times there. Like it's kind of a convoluted story, but you get yeah. it, right? Like, uh, I mean, who's I, who's at blame here? Who's to blame? Should I, Ubisoft not have done this? Also, don't agree with banning people for using glitches. It's that's that's like saying that's placing the blame on someone that doesn't need the blame. You have an issue with the game, mm. and someone's just using it. It's the rule set built into the game. Why can't I use it? Fix it if you don't want me to use it. You can't ban people for using it. Now, if people are using third-party software to, yeah. to do something, that, that's different. But if you're using the tools that the game gave you and the developer gave you, they create the laws of that universe, the rules of the physics you have to abide by, and those are the rules they gave you. I'm going to play in them. Yeah, okay. But why, then, why am I getting punished for that? Yeah, but because then you're assuming that everybody that knows about the glitches knows how to use them and use them in their favor. That's, that not, that's not really the case for everybody playing the game, right? So what's, so, what's the difference between that and someone in Rocket League using a flip reset? You, you don't know that that's even a thing when you first start playing. Well, that's the thing. You don't know that it's a thing, but that's a part of the game, right? That's a part of the meta that you can discover as a pro, Same right? Same with glitches. No, glitches aren't, aren't, aren't supposed to be a part of the game. But if people are smart enough, like the way hackers hack things, if they're smart enough to understand how to implement that glitch, then I guess they're cheating because they've used something that is not supposed mm. to be in the game to their favor, but, right? But there's nowhere in, in the EULA that says, hey, you can't, you know, phase through this wall, right? Like, how am I supposed to know that things about if if I'm not using I bought the game I installed it and that's all I've done I've installed nothing Wait, else Marty, why can't Marty. I do that because because flip resets are a part of rocket but League. the developers didn't ever intended that are you sure? They never once intended it. They didn't even know you could fly in the game until players started doing it. Okay, well then I guess Rocket League is a superior esport to any other esport out there. Okay? I'm just saying so like, Ubisoft seems like they don't want to take blame for an unpolished game. Uh, listen, I'm not going to argue that. That <laughs> That is actually a fair point. That could be it. But I also understand that player sentiment where it's like the guys that do know how to use the glitches, also the guys opposing those guys that know how to use the glitches, that also know how to use the glitches to punish the guys using the glitches, yeah. should still be able to do that. Nobody should be banned. So, right. Okay, fine, we agree. All right. In other Siege news, pro player Pengu took to Twitter to say that cosmetic skins ruin the competitive integrity of the game. He says that some skins give a competitive advantage by blending characters in with the environment, and that he had a hard time calling out opponents because it's difficult to tell who they are. Pengu proposed that players should be forced to use only the default skins in competitive matches. Marissa, mm. do you think that pros should, uh, you know, be forced to use these? I and think that this is a totally subjective, though. This yeah. is like this is something that like. like some players to get better might, eyes. No, some players might like using, some players might not. Like, you see skins and you and see different weapons being used in games like CSGO, and that's not really ruining the competitive integrity yeah. there when when applied. But I get what he's saying. Like, I, I love Pengu. Like, he's incredible. He's a great advocate for Rainbow Six. Mm -hmm. He's just one of those guys that's amazing at what he does. He's amazing at speaking about the game as well. He's just a great advocate for it. So, I mean, I do want to heed his words. I do want to see if this maybe is true. Maybe he's right. Maybe they should keep it to exactly the way it should be in game when you're playing competitively. But then the game and the developer can't sell these skins and make money off of them yeah, afterwards, I got, right? I got, so. I got two sides to it. One, okay. you got to understand that, you know, the eSport is also used as a marketing tool to showcase the product and what it has. Yeah. And they want people to see, oh, look at that cool, like, rainbow skin or whatever. Look at this cool camo skin. They want people to see that to say, hey, I want to go buy that now online. Yeah. Now, as a competitive person, I agree in standardizing uh, a lot of things that don't affect the actual gameplay. So, mm. you know, if it does come down to, I think, you know, uh, all pros, I think, you know, if it's an eSport, they should have skins that are their, um, their orcs. Right, yeah. like you know, like the Overwatch does it. 100. Rocket League has some of them now there, but not every esport is forcing them to use that. Mm. And I feel like if you're going to force them to not use certain skins, you should be forced then to use your org skin, because well, then it just shows 
it's not even unity, it's a team, right? Like you're on the field as For a sure. team. I think that'll only be universally implemented when all teams have been franchised, really. Like that's yeah. when it'll be. For sure, like your skin belongs to this team, belongs to this city, or however the franchising mode is going to be implemented. Mm -hmm. That's how it'll work, and that's when it will work. I feel like now, because Ubisoft can make money off of this, yeah. they should just make money off it. It's their game. I, Honestly, they can do whatever the hell they want. And if this is what they want to do in their competitive league, then let people buy I would, skins. I would say for now, Pegu, if you're going to have to deal with it, just start using those skins that make it hard to see you, too. That's fair. If you can't beat them, join them. Even Steven, baby. All right, Optic Gaming's former Gears of War team has temporarily joined Tox Gaming to play under the org's banner for the Gears 5 E-League Invitational. More importantly, the team's coach, Ashes, explained why the squad left Optic in announcing the move to Tox. Apparently, the team had been unhappy with the direction of Optic for a few months and with the sale to Immortals, asked to be released from their contracts early. With Gears 5 on the horizon, Ashes said that there was no better time for the team to leave and market itself than now. So. Brody, put yourself in immortal shoes. If okay. the championship winning Gears probably team... probably really nice shoes, too. Oh, God, you're so annoying. If the championship winning Gears team yeah. just decided to leave because you bought that org, would you not be a little offended? Would you even let them leave? Would you release their contracts? It's well, like their championships. Two you things, you technically one, paid for it. Yeah, two, yeah you, you did, but two things. One, if it's you know already like... You're on the edge of like, oh, it's, we're losing, we're bleeding money on this, and they asked to leave. That's almost kind of just like a, a secure of like, all right, let's get rid of them, relocate our, our resources, and and put them somewhere else. Yeah. Now, I feel like there could have been a, a possible situation of, you know. Optic already knew the sale was coming up, so they stopped paying attention a bit to the teams, maybe started treating them not as good because yeah. that sale was coming up, so they had less time to talk to those players, and that could have been the result of them, you know, not being too happy with how Optic right. was uh, going at that moment, so it kind of could have, could have been like a, a double hammer, double-edged sword Maybe. going this into is, them. This is all just speculation, but yes, uh, Optic Hector did say that, you know, the guys that purchased them weren't really operating the org as he once was because mm -hmm. because Hector obviously loves his teams and loves mm -hmm. the squad and puts a lot of love and attention into all of them and maybe that's true but I just feel like these I don't know they're kind of like in their own little bubbles though right each team has their own yeah. house they well not their own house but they they stream together they just you know have some kind of synergy together and maybe they weren't maybe this is it maybe they needed to just peace out and find their own way and and not be part of Immortals but it just sucks because Optic is still going to be a brand it's still going to be something that's out there yeah. maybe not to you know to the glory it once was because of the sale but Immortals is going to drop the optic brand it can't it's too strong of oh, a brand yeah, yeah. just like yeah, they yeah. didn't drop the MIBR like they're, they're not just not gonna do it right so they could have still operated as optic they could have still been the green wall and just I guess I sucked it up a little bit because they hey, could you know what the at the same time that they're maintaining their integrity at the, at the same time respect to them for letting the team go um, when they wanted to you could have just been meanie and held them you know we got a contract you're stuck Right? Yeah, that's true. For Immortals, yeah, absolutely. I'm happy that they're doing their own thing. Hopefully they get treated really well where they are mm -hmm. now and that they still keep winning. I love these guys. I want them to keep winning. Keep winning. Anyways, on to our last story. LGD Gaming Dota 2 Pro maybe has found himself in hot water over racist comments he made on social media. He used the Chinese terms for a foreign horse and white pig in a post, both of which are extremely offensive and disrespectful in Chinese. Maybe was fined by LGD and he apologized for the comments, but Valve has punished players for the racist comments in the past. The only difference in those comments were made in game. Yeah. Which brings us to our question, Marissa. Should Valve uh, step in to punish maybe for these comments made outside of the game? Or is it bad on Valve's part if they only care about what players do in the game? Hmm. Uh, this is really tough. This is tough because... I'll let you think it, about it for a few seconds. No, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> no, uh, because Valve obviously is a very hands-off type of... Yes. Publisher, okay, they're very hands-off with everything they do. Their communities basically run their own things. Yes. Okay. Um, because of that, it does make sense that really they only punish when games are taking place because that's a reflection of them and their game because it's happening mm -hmm. in a game that that they're playing, right? So um, it's hard for me to say that Valve should punish them when it was there. This player is not under Valve's control, really. Mm -hmm it's under the org's responsibility to punish a player that might be tainting their brand in some way, because mm -hmm. it's all about brand management, right? So. 
that should happen, I think. If he issued an apology, as long as it was taken well and it was sincere, I feel like that's okay. Of course, I feel like I'm the wrong person to ask about this because I'm not Chinese. I don't yeah. understand. We don't know the extent I, of exactly. this. I mean, those those phrases in, in English really don't mean, don't anything to us, mean right? much. Yeah. Exactly. But to them, if it's very offensive, then yes, for sure. And if he knew they were offensive, especially, yeah. then yes, for sure. I feel like it's punishable, but not by Valve, maybe by LGT. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Even the English translation of foreign horse actually sounds powerful. Okay, well, like, let's not get it. It's like, whoa, well, these guys come. Here. Yeah, no, that's this, so. It's, it's it is really, really hard to say that you know it's on Valve to do it. I, yeah. I think I we kind of touched on it the other day on another episode of you know the, Valve isn't the law. They they have their own rule set that while operating within their um, universe, mm. this is the rule set that you have to abide by, and if you don't, then we send you away, uh, we send you a ban. But they were outside that, they were in a yeah. different realm. It really can't be up to Valve at that point. I to love that you use the word realm, because it's true. Like, it really <laughs> it's is. A like, it, realm. It's a whole other realm. It really realm. is. It, it, it really is. And the things that are uh, that they deem acceptable could be mm. different in game two. So yeah, I don't, I don't think it's on Valve at the end no, of the day No, but LGD. Would yes, you say the it, word? it would be up to the org, the person that maybe is representing. OK, yo, we are agreeing wow, a lot today. Wow, this is too today. much. Ooh. This is too much. Oh, it doesn't feel good, man. It's time to check in with streamers and clip it. Our first clip comes from Tyler One and Spandex. Yeah, okay. it's brought to you by Spandex. Yes, yes, honey. What do you need, Kayla? Yes, I'm. Oh, okay. I'll be right there. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, what that ass dude? That was some Nicki Minaj level bouncing going on there. Yeah, I mean, if that is an advertisement for Spandex, actually, I mean, it worked because yo, that that butt was popping. That, he, he's got a nice little bubble if, butt there. If I if I wear that, will my butt look good? No, you have no, no butt. No, because I don't yeah. have a butt. I know. I'm sorry, muffin. I was I was given genetics that lacked a chin and a butt. Ah, he said it though, not me. You say it enough. What? Don't put that evil on me. I think you're beautiful. Wow, that's a lie. I kind of <laughs> want to meet you for that. All right, let's move on. Now, I don't want to give more attention to Paja Lock, but I feel like there is an important PSA in here. Chagas? Chagas? It's not like a big one. It's not like a big one. It's not like a big one. <laughs> A, no to kurwa dobra. A nie, dobrze. Dobrze. O, przepraszam. Dobrze pojechać. Jesus, get, okay, straight up, get off your phone. Like, I don't even think he was on no, the phone for I, the first one, but the second one, no, definitely. He, yeah, well, he for sure, but he also has like obviously the GoPro on top of the Yeah, I'm not worried about streaming. that. He's not using hands for that, but. No, but he, he almost ran over a few pedestrians there. You guys, honestly, and then the, you stream this stuff and it's funny. That is not freaking funny. You're going to hurt somebody. Also, those are serious fines if you do end up hurting somebody yeah, as I feel well. Like, 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 let's just film myself doing criminal activity. Like, it's the next thing you're going to see someone live streaming them robbing a bank. Right, like, like it, exactly. The logic, not, I don't get it. It's not GTA, okay? Like, just be. Be freaking responsible. Don't. I, I hate the whole streaming while driving thing. It's not. It's just completely irresponsible. Oh, I don't. I, know, like, I don't. I don't think that's an issue as long as the camera's mounted somewhere else. Okay, right. Sure. That, that's that fine. That I didn't have an issue with. It was the fact that he was also looking at his phone and just overall just disregarding pedestrians. Pedestrians should always have the right of way. Absolutely. Look at look for the crosswalks. Okay. Stop at them. People are gonna get hurt. All right, truly is the best time of day when you scroll through the Twitterverse to bring you all the things the pros bless us with from the timeline. We especially love it when they get real. And Slasher is good mm. at that. Dr. Disrespect returned stream to Twitch today, peaked at 800K viewers. It literally pays to get banned on Twitch. 80,000, oh, um, which is still a lot. It. Uh, yeah, so just do something. So, hey, yeah. it, it's the phrase that no publicity is, or all publicity is good, pu no bad publicity, well, something like that, you know? He? Get publicity. <laughs> That was like a, uh, what's his face? <laughs> George, George you fool like, me once, you never fool me again. Once, yeah, fool me twice? You, you, can't, you can't fool me again. That was literally you. It's straight up, no, it really is what it is. Um, it's, you have to make, for these big streamers, you're going to have to make the bands bigger. At the same time, does Twitch really want those guys off 
their no. platform not making money for them for too long, right? Well, the thing is, in his band, was he not still getting subs at that time, mm -hmm. or did they come in after the fact? Like, that's a question to ask, too, because if their band, like, if Twitch can implement a system where, hey, they know that this person's going to get a lot of dough, no mm -hmm. matter what, like, people are going to subscribe to them even more now, now that we ban them, so, mm, let's ban them, but keep their subs open so that people can still sub to them yeah, so they see yeah. when they come back. They can easily be in cities like that and make money. them financially. It, overall, they're right? not going to though, because if they punch them financially, money off then too. they get punished yeah. financially, and you know that ain't gonna happen, kid. Everybody, go do something stupid, and you'll get famous. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, like run over pedestrians. New plan. All right. Hey, look, Froden is here to make me feel like an arsehole. <laughs> Six months fitness update with proper side-by-side -side lighting comparison and a bonus side angle pick. Mini blog about my progress on the IG post. Thanks for everyone who cheered me on. Really happy with my progress. Like that. So uh, happy for him, but sad for me. Yeah, yeah. Who knew that was Just under no. that glitter jacket that he wears? Uh, like, good for him. I, listen, I'm down for the whatever. I've been seeing a lot of gym flexing lately. Yeah. On Twitter and Instagram. You start. You starting to feel bad I about mean, yourself like, too. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> exactly. Like these kind of. Does it even motivate you though? That's the thing. That's what they say it's supposed to do. That's what people say it's supposed to do. Motivate you, but, but really, really it just, just makes me feel literally. like literally. Okay, like good for you. No, I didn't go to the gym today. This one girl <laughs> I know literally posts on her stories like a photo of her at the gym. Did you go to the gym today? No, bitch. I didn't. <laughs> Thank you though. Like, just, just a friendly reminder, no, I didn't, thank you. I'm just trying to get this. As long as I can, like, see that in there, I feel like I'm doing okay. Do, don't, you, don't you always, like, leave the office, you know, after every show in your gym clothes yeah, to, like, kind of trick yeah. yourself into thinking you might go? <laughs> you don't need to stop me with that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Our last romance thought is here. As a friendly reminder, life is a young man's game. So scared of getting older, X Smithy says, I'm only good at being young. Yo, that's real talk. That's real talk. I've, I've learned that the, the lifestyle that uh, you live as a young person starts to get harder. Doesn't mean I'm gonna stop, but it starts to get harder the, the older you get. Now, obviously, I'm not old, but, you know, maybe we can talk to someone who has the experience of being Wait, old. Well, tell me about that again. Oh, go away! Tell go away! It's my as Doritos, you're, as you're okay? you're getting older, Mr. Doritos? It's my Doritos. Oh, not man. New, literally, just last year, Brody's coming in here literally eating Doritos and Mountain Dew for breakfast. But now, at home, you know what I got the other day? What did you get? A bunch of fruits and nuts to snack on, <laughs> yeah. and that's all I'm gonna eat. That's all I'm eating from now on. You know what? I'm really proud of you. And, you're sharing it And I'm, I'm doing curls with my backpack. <laughs> It's baby steps, right? Yeah, I'm, I'll be jacked soon. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on because it's time to get to some crowd control. I want to start off by pointing something out, and I think Roxo97 summarized it nicely. Me, can I have a switch? Mom, <laughs> we have a uh, switch light at home. Switch light at home. <laughs> oh. Really, though? Let's, real, let's get real talk here. How is Nintendo the only one that's able to dominate the handheld market? Like, the Vita was an incredible device, but... Yeah somehow it just didn't take off and there were some pretty good games for it too. There were actually a lot of good games for the Vita. I, I, I don't get Vita. it. Like, and the what? hardware was incredible. I'm telling you, I pulled it out of the dust of like this buried basement of things that I had. It still had charge and life in it after all this time. There That's were impressive. like, seriously, so many great games. It, it is a rip for Sony, it is a rip for Vita, unfortunately, like RIP, but um, yeah, Nintendo has always just dominated this market. And I, I guess it's because it, families always just associate video games with Nintendo and I think it's just one of those things that families go to to buy Maybe for their I kids. Guess, yeah. It's not something that they might think of. Like Sony's not top of mind for a lot of moms and dads out there thinking they're going to get their kids into games. Right? The, the, I, I bet you the Switch Lite was definitely a flex on it. They're like, well, I don't even care if we like sell much. Let's just do this to like poop on Sony's face about the Vita. Okay. I, I feel like that's, I that's all, it's just a flex. Like, yeah, maybe when they're <laughs> drinking their, you know, Chablis later and talking about how awesome they are, maybe they discuss that. money their Switch yeah. is making, Exactly. Yeah. Okay, recently a lot of people on the gaming subreddit have been sharing the gaming steps, so sharing their gaming steps, but I think we found the most relatable. It's C. Miller time asks you to rate his setup. That is the realest setup ever. That Every single person here has that setup at home. Yeah. Lately, though, it's been me playing Archero. Yeah, I've lost okay. on the toilet so, way yeah, too thank much. Thank you. Let's talk about that for a second, because Mr. Brody, I like science more, I love science more, always just trashes on me for loving mobile games, okay? Trashes on me constantly. I give him this one game called Archero. He has been crushing it. It's all he's been playing lately. Tell the truth. It's uh, all you've been playing? I, it's not because I love the game, it's because what? I want to beat you. No, that's not true because you beat me a while ago. You beat me that's a while true. ago and you've still been playing. I just you want to be better than everyone. It says <laughs> I'm better than 80% of players, so. 
So now you got to come at him. Everyone download our chair. It's free. He can. I got to uh, be at one hundred percent. And then tell me how much you love mobile games. And then I'll be satisfied. No. Let's move on, because <laughs> that's not going to happen. Everyone here knows I mainly play games on PC. <laughs> yeah, right. But I do enjoy consoles from time to time, so I can have a laugh about what a PC-only gamer kind of sounds like. Console gamers having a civilized discussion. Here comes the PC players. One more more at the top of console stock. Just pooping everywhere. It's, <laughs> it's real tech. Sometimes it does feel like that's what PC gamers sound like, just running through just. <laughs> Pooping on everything. When you I like first, this? It's yeah. not good enough because it's not PC. When I first saw that comic, because you showed it to me earlier, I did not picture them speaking that way. <laughs> <laughs> the way you just viewed it. It was perfect. <laughs> I'm a PC gamer. <laughs> Can yeah. do some PC. Okay, but like you're allowed to do that. I'm not because I don't PC game, but you do. So I can, I I can, like can self-deprecate, yeah. Self and self-defecate. <laughs> self-defecate, all right. Let's end it on poop. That's it for Unmeter. Remember, you can always hit us up on our social. Just say hi or send us some stuff to react to because we'll have it on the show. Hit us up at Squad State. We're everywhere. We'll see you next time.